Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night and that you'll enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. We as people are not supposed to work. We were only meant to hang out at the beach and drink pink lemonade. Oh yes, pink lemonade. That sounds like something I will never drink. Throw a bottle of Jack in there or if at the beach, Throw a couple of cold beers and I'm game for maybe a couple of days. I know some people will like your idea, but some people will absolutely dislike it. I do know in real life a couple of people that they just cannot stop and relax. Even when they're supposed to be resting or on a day off, they still find something around their house that they need fixing. And I remember while growing up, probably we all heard that question, what do you want to be when you're growing up? I have never in my 45 years of life heard some kids saying, I want to be a vegetable. The last time I was in Dubai, I went searching for an Abu Dhabi. Apparently, all I needed to do was post pictures looking lonely in front of a YSL store. Before a kind stranger decided to buy me a bag to keep me company. To celebrate my small victory, I decided to get Persian lunch at Shabistan Dubai. Where I was served by the staff because I'm too gorgeous and rich to serve anything but looks. Mmm, a delicious mouthful, unlike my ex. I had to unbutton my pants seductively in order to keep eating. This sugar baby likes sweets, so I decided to help myself out and... Well, eat hearts, like I always do. <laughs> I decided to take a walk through the old town of hey, Dubai. Upon my arrival, I stirred up one hell of a commotion. I was feeling like an Amazon wish list. You want to check me out, but can't afford me. <laughs> well, Shakira and I both got cheated Hips on. Hips don't lie, but I guess men do. So usually I would have ignored this type of video, but after watching so many stories of what's going on in Dubai, and because you got a free bag just for standing outside the shop, it makes me look at you a bit funny. But I guess you can use mouthwash and the smells go away, so who am I to say anything? I guess good on you for finding that Abu Dhabi. It's so funny that my mom always told me growing up, um, please be with someone that is very beautiful looking and good looking. And I never really understood why until I realized ugly men always cheat. Every single person I know that has dated below them has always cheated. The person has always, the other person has always cheated. And then I look at Emily Ratajkowski, the most beautiful, highly intelligent woman woman's woman and she gets cheated on and then i look at her husband and he is the most thumb looking i've ever seen in my life and that is why you have to date someone who is beautiful and good looking and doesn't look like a thumb because ugly men like billy said give an ugly guy a chance and he thinks he owns the world no ladies let's do better Right, so I guess with you it's the other way around. You get your looks from your dad and your brain from your mom. You want to talk about cheating? Sure, 30% of men cheat, 25% of women cheat, so the numbers are pretty close. Now consider that men are bragging about it and women are hiding it, the numbers could be closer. But I guess this is what happens when you live your life in La La Land. You can no longer make the difference between celebrities and normal life. That guy you were talking about has options. If I remember right, he's a movie producer or something like that. Every actress wannabe will jump on his bed if she thinks that will get her the part. So like I said, options. In normal day-to-day -day life, an ugly man is invisible. If he ever gets an attractive woman, he will worship that woman. He's never gonna consider cheating on her and especially if he's ugly, he could never get another woman to even look at him. But you go ahead and thank your mom for keeping you single with this type of advice. It just hit me. Andrew Tate is single because no good woman wants him. If you can't even get a good woman to even look at you, why is everyone listening? If you build it, he will come. I saw that in an old movie once and it kind of makes sense today. You stop talking about him, he will stop talking. But the more all of you will talk about him, he will keep on talking. And why are you talking about good women? You would not know a good woman if she stood in front of you. He cannot get one? Well, he got one. He has a girlfriend. Now, I really don't know if she's a good woman or not, but to be honest, I really don't care. They are together and best of luck to them both. But maybe before you start talking, do some research.
this shaming tactics that you're all using that he can't get a woman only works if he actually can't get one. I can use the same shaming tactics. All of you talking about him secretly want to be with him or a man like him. I don't care either way, but if he inspires a young man to be men and that young man learns to see you for who you are and how to stay away from you, then I cannot get mad about that. I am honestly amazed how many women find it easier to be a single mother than to stay with the partner of their child. Like, I know women who are like, you know what, I can work, I can pay the bills, I don't need your child support. Um, and if it does, if you do provide it, it doesn't even touch the sides. I can cook, I can clean, I can do whatever needs to be done, and I don't have to worry about you anymore. And a lot of these women that I know, like, they were told it was going to be harder to be a single mum. They were told, watch out, it's going to be more difficult. Then they do it and they're like, oh my God, my stress has gone down. They have time to themselves. They don't have to cook a meal every night. I'm amazed. They actually find it easier. Anyone else notice that it's always me, me, me with this type of women? It's better to be a single mother for who? I showed the stats in my last video. I'm not going to show them again. But if you remember, a third of the single mothers live in poverty. Almost 28% of them are food insecure. So I'm going to ask again, who is it better for if you're a single mother? Not for your kids, that's for sure. And I know there are some deadbeat husbands out there. There are some deadbeat fathers. We're not talking about them here. We're talking about you. You got divorced because you had to cook every night. You cook for your kids, don't you? Oh, wait, you said you don't. So I guess it is easier if you stuff your kids with fast food every night. But who cares about those kids anyway? It's always about me, me, me. So one of the main reasons that I approach guys more often than more often than not at bars and things like that is because I don't get approached a lot and I know people are gonna be like yeah right whatever like think I'm lying but I'm not lying um and so I've learned from not getting approached that if I want to talk to someone I'm gonna have to go talk to that person like I can't wait for someone to come talk to me so I feel like it has taught me like to be like confident in myself and obvious like I haven't been rejected yet and I might change my mind about this whole thing if I get rejected because I might be too scared to do it then but um so far so good so I'll keep doing it well good on you you keep doing it what I wish you would do would be stopping the car before you start recording but that's just me I'm weird like that the question here is not about getting rejected or not the question is what are you looking for if you're looking for a one night stand, that's great. You go to bars and pick up men. But if you're looking for something more serious, those guys are not gonna look at you and think, that's my future wife. Men don't usually go to bars to look for a serious relationship. So I imagine it's the same for women. And yes, I know there are some exceptions, but exceptions don't make the rule. So again, you do you. But there better not be a all men are trash type of video in the future from you. Because if there's gonna be one, well, I can't do anything about it, but... I I can give you your 15 minutes of fame right here on this channel. One time this guy was being a <laughs> So I told him right to his face in front of everybody that he looks like the type of person to order a steak well done. And, and when I tell you like the silence that came from him and the absolute cackles that came from everybody else, I felt like I was unstoppable. So... Maybe next time someone's mean to you, you don't need to be like over the top rude. You can just do like subtle disses and it really gets the point across. So at some point a guy was being a D to you and you kissed it. No wait, no but seriously what happened? Was he too hard on you? When did it became okay for all of us to just be rude with each other? Two wrongs make a right now? Oh yeah and by the way I do order my steak well done. Now what? Right, so for this one, she has music playing on the background that I had to mute, so I will read what she said. Wife application. Hi, I am Rim, 30, live in Texas. I love Jesus. I have a career and run two side businesses. I love fitness. 
and I'm family oriented. I'm fun, spontaneous and very adventurous. I love traveling and I am the best dog mom. Well, if you've seen my last video, you probably remember them celebrating the rise of lonely single men. Well, this is the result. No one that celebrated that article being posted actually thought that if more men choose to stay single, that means more women will be single. And it seems that it got so bad that now they're posting WAF application on TikTok. I don't use dating apps, I don't know how many are there, but I do know there are at least three. So those dating apps are not enough, now you need to post on TikTok. And I don't care either way to be honest, but everything you wrote on that application is directed at women. I mean, I can appreciate the fact that you're into fitness and that you say that you're family oriented, but are you really? You are 30 and you are attractive. So what happened until now? Why are you not married yet? Because, you know, you sound too good to be true. And even though you're 30, you still don't know what men want. You like to travel? Who cares? You're a dog mom? Who cares? You have a career and own two side businesses? Who cares? Men don't care about any of that. You do. So just on the surface, maybe that's the reason you're still single. I don't care enough to start to look deeper. And also, to be honest, I'm afraid of what skeletons I'm gonna find in your closet. As a man, why are you blocking me? Like, what are you? Like, grow up. As a man, if you block me, I won. I won. No, no, I believe you. You've won a quiet night being alone and miserable. But seriously, what exactly did you win? He blocked you and you decided to stay up late making a TikTok about it. So what exactly did you win? He's probably outside having fun or maybe outside on a date with another woman. <laughs> what a loser. Just out of curiosity though, how many of these wins have you had lately? Can you be friends with an ex? I truly believe men and women cannot be friends. <laughs> I would love to, but them, no. They don't have like the mental capacity or like the big brain enough to do it. <laughs> Many screws are loose. Can you be friends with an ex? Yes. Are you currently friends with any exes? I don't have an ex because I'm unproblematic. Well, at least you were honest about it, not like the first lunatic that blamed men for it. It's not because I have too many screws that are loose, which I actually do more than I would like to admit, but that's not the point here. Even if you do live on good terms, what's there to be friends about? What, am I gonna call you late at night asking you about your new boyfriend or your new husband or what? Hey, is he doing you like I used to do you? No? Well, you should tell him. You know you like your face mushed into the pillow. It makes sense to see your ex on the streets and be able to say hello, but that doesn't mean that you should be friends. Maybe I'm the weird one, but for me, being friend with someone has a different meaning. Anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.